Welcome everybody, it is Crypto Moose, and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and sexy NFT investor, at least for tonight. I do have to shave, but we're going to dive right into it. So thank you all so much for tuning in once again. As promised, we're going to be doing a lot more video content. So the moose has been getting loose. And on this episode specifically, we're going to be going over the Vesper wallet. So it's a new Cardano mobile wallet. So it is known as the new Cardano mobile wallet experience. And it's basically a Cardano based wallet, a hot wallet that you can have on your phone. So we're gonna be using my iPhone and we're gonna be setting it up in this video. This is not only going to be a first look, it's also going to be a tutorial. So what I want you to all do as well is like, comment and subscribe. That's one way you can help us out. And if you're looking to you know, keep up to date with everything Cardano and Bitcoin and Matic and all the other blockchains we're gonna talk about here on the channel, definitely hit the bell notification as well. So to show you how excited and how ready I am, I also made a hot chocolate. We're gonna be putting in some marshmallows because the moose is getting loose. This is nice. Who cares about the wallet? We got hot chocolate, baby. So make yourself a hot chocolate, enjoy the video. This is gonna be cool. So what I've done is I got everything set up with OBS. So you can see my phone, I've got it connected and we can basically go through the app store and see everything in real time. So what you're gonna do first is you're going to go to Vesper and we are going to be using the cell phone. Um, but what I wanna do is show you on the desktop as well. So we're at Vesper. Um, what is that? XYZ hashtag. So that's the website. Um, type it in, make sure you're on the right website. Um, so if you take a look here, it's downloadable for the app store. That's what we're going to be using because I'm an iPhone user. I'm basically an Apple addict. So it's just the way it is. And also the Google Play. So one thing I want to mention before we get started as well is that you want to have a pen and a paper ready to go. So this is so that you can back up your seed phrase. The wallet that we are going to be using in this video, um, this is going to be for tutorial purposes. Hopefully I don't have to make any edits. I'm gonna try to do this all one shot. So have a blank sheet of paper. I got one at the back of the book. We're gonna write Vesper. And this is just going to be for tutorial purposes only, okay? So we're gonna do the whole setup we're gonna load up some ADA, at least show you how to do it. And let's dive right in. So first things first, depending on if you are an Apple or Android user, um, definitely get that situated for yourself. For us, what we're gonna do is use our iPhone. So we're going to go under search and we're going to type in Vesper. So it's going to be the Vesper Cardano wallet. So here we're just going to download that so I've already downloaded it and I'm just going to um, re-download it and open it. So this is what it looks like on the iPhone. So it's a really good looking wallet. And by the way, the goal of this wallet, in my opinion, is going to be to have a wallet that you can use as an everyday carry. Um, if you wanna hold Cardano long-term, you should have a Trezor Model T or any kind of hardware wallet. We have links in the description below for you as well. So we downloaded that. Now we're going to open up the app. So we're doing this in real time. Um, I've set up a wallet in the past. So that's what we're doing. So have a pen and paper ready. And if you already have your seed words and you maybe lost your device, you can hit on restore wallet. So we're going to do create a new wallet. And by the way, do not share your recovery seed words with anybody. This is for educational purposes. So we're gonna to go to create new wallet. I've read the terms and conditions. Yep, Moose read it. So there we go, view your wallet. And first things first, you always want to back up your wallet. So again, we're gonna be showing you the words, but this is for, again, educational purposes only. So we're gonna do backup now, continue. Nobody can see my screen. So these words are going to allow you to recover your wallet in case you ever lose it. So we're gonna show these words on screen. 
And what I'm gonna do is write these down on a piece of paper. Okay, so number one, I guess I can look at the screen. Number one, it's gonna be hard to see. Number one is swear. And your words are going to be unique for you. They're gonna be different, okay? So number two is few. Three is offer. Four is panel. So make it as legible as possible. So we'll do five, six. And this is going to be a 15 word. So typically with Cardano, you're going to have to write down 15 words. And this is a mnemonic seed phrase. So it's an encrypted version of your private keys. So orange, I've never seen that word. And again, I'm not using this wallet for um, real use. This is a wallet that I'm not going to use again. So do not use these words. Create a new wallet. Okay. So we got seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we have orange and take your time, right? Task, then fatal. And I'm actually pretty excited about this wallet. So again, this is for educational purposes, but um, and I'm going to write that down on this piece of paper, but make sure that you do back up your wallet. It is the, the most important aspect when it comes to crypto security. And again, this should be used as an everyday carry, like a wallet that you have a little bit of ADA if you want, but do not store um, crypto long term on this wallet because it's not the most secure. Marriage um, 13 is news. 14 is illness. And I'm really impressed with this wallet, by the way. So 15 is foil. Okay, so we wrote down all of our words. We're going to go to I confirm I've written down. And I did. So if we take a look here, you can see all of my words. Again, do not use these words. So we're all backed up. There we go. So that's all it is. And these words, set it aside. Keep it away from your phone obviously, and don't share it with anybody. All right, so let's take a look at the wallet now. So here we've got a very good looking UI. So that's user interface. I'm really impressed. So what they've done is they created a more modern version, a nice version of um, a Cardano wallet. And they also integrated a couple of tools that we're gonna talk about. So getting into the wallet, I'm trying not to sneeze right now. Um, you can go to the top right, okay? So we're gonna go to the top right, see the three dots, and we're gonna put in dark mode, okay? I think that's gonna make it a little bit easier. And then you also have biometrics authentic um, authentication. You can do that if you wish. We're gonna go to account detail, and we're gonna rename this. We're gonna call this the Moose Wallet. So Moose Wallet, save changes. Now we have a name for our wallet, okay? So again, account details, make sure everything's good. So here we've got our receiving address, staking address, really, really cool. Okay, and we're gonna do quite a bit. I don't wanna just do nothing. So make sure that you have the mainnet toggled on. So that's going to make sure that you're able to use this wallet effectively. Okay, and, and that's about it to get things started. So the first thing you wanna do is add some Cardano. So perhaps we'll do that in real time. It shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I'm just trying to think of the best way for us to do that. I don't think it will be that difficult. Okay, so if we go here to not send, but to receive, this is our address. So we need to send some ADA to this address. So we're going to go to our desktop. We're gonna to go to a NAMI. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to copy this and we need to find a way to get access to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this address and I'm going to paste it so that um, I can get into it with my notes app. So that's what I'm gonna do with my phone here. So again, I'm going to hit copy here so you can see that. I'm just gonna hide this for um, personal reasons here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste it in my notes. So 
So we're gonna paste that here and I'm going to go into my notes and we're gonna pick up that address. All right, there we go. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open that up in a new window. So to show you that, um, since I have my notes on my phone, um, I also have it with uh, my desktop. So it's kind of cool. The Moose is pretty tech savvy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this on my desktop. So we're gonna copy that, okay? And then I'm going to switch things over again. So we're gonna close out of that for now. And what we're gonna do is we are going to send some Cardano to that wallet. So here we're gonna to go to send. We have a little bit, this is just a hot wallet. I typically keep a little bit of ADA, um, but I'm excited to actually get one of these wallets set up. I think it looks good. So here you're gonna paste in your address. We're gonna send this wallet, let's just say 10 ADA, nothing crazy. And we're gonna put the moose is loose. So comment down below if you're enjoying this. Also comment down below if you would like me to show you how to set up other wallets and do some first looks. So here we're gonna do send, and the moose is gonna put in his password. If I can remember it. There we go. So now I'm gonna go back to my wallet. And we're gonna wait for the funds to hit our address. So again, we're gonna do this in real time. Um, we're gonna see how long this takes. So right now it's been, what, like five seconds? So if we go to our transaction history here, we don't even see the transaction yet. So we send what, 20 ADA? So we'll see how long that takes. So once that gets received, then we can begin to do some other things. So there we go, we just received it. That was pretty quick, what, 20, 30 seconds? So that's how you receive ADA on this wallet. And again, I'm doing this for the real time. Um, I'm doing this in real time. So uh, bear with me a little bit. So if you want to receive, you're gonna go to the arrow pointing at you like this, and you can scan the QR code, whatever it may be. And what you can also do is send. So we're gonna send it back when I set up a new wallet. So you can go to the send button and you can paste in an address. Perhaps we could send it back to that address right there. So definitely really cool. So there's a lot of things you can do. Um, the goal for me is to have a nice wallet that I can have on my phone. So if I wanna get somebody in the ADA, which is what I do on YouTube, um, I can very easily tell them, hey, set up the Vesper wallet. So I'm really liking the UI. Um, so what else can we do here? Here's where you're gonna view your NFTs, it looks like. Um, you have no collectibles in the wallet, of course. We only have 10 ADA. So what you also have here, if we go to the middle, you have the dexhunter.io. So we're gonna hit agree. And this is where we can do something a little bit interesting. So what we're gonna do is select a different token. So book token was recently released. And we're gonna select book. And now we can do, for example, five ADA. So 50 to 54% of our holdings and we could pick up some book. So we're gonna do that. Let's review this swap. So insufficient ADA. So maybe it needs um, confirmations still, I'm not sure. Uh, unless it needs to be a certain amount. Um, again, we just sent this, so you do need a certain amount of confirmations in order to you know, make transactions happen. So here we're gonna do seven ADA, maybe this will work. Insufficient ADA, okay. Maybe we could try a different asset. So there's a lot. Cardano is growing. Um, that looks like the old meld. We have Wi-Fi. Let's see if Kopi's on here. I'm really impressed. This is really nice. So if you want to swap and pick up other assets, this is how you're going to be able to do that. And again, we're only playing with the bit. So you're going to have transaction costs. It's probably going to cost you like, what, 0 0.17 ADA to do a transaction. So... It could be that we have to have a minimum amount or 
our transaction just needs confirmation. So if we go to this confirmation, let's see how many, let's see our confirmation here and stuff. So this is our transaction, this is our wallet, okay? Yeah, so maybe we just have to wait for everything to confirm. So that only costs 0 .0, um, 0.19 ADA for that previous transaction. So we'll give it another shot and we will review the swap. There we go. Yeah, so I guess it, it just hasn't finished yet. Maybe we'll try it here in a little bit. So again, what else do we have here? Here you can stake, which is really cool. So we can go to next. Let's just see what this looks like. Earn with our partners. Really cool. So you can find pools. Wow. So for those of you that want an easy, simple way to play around with ADA, like see what we just did. It's been, you know, 15 minutes about. And uh, yeah, this is really cool. This is really nice. So I'm just going to see if maybe we just haven't hit enough confirmations. But our, our ADA is in there. I mean, we're playing with a small amount, so um, that could be the reason. And I don't think we have to set collateral or anything. I don't believe that would be something we have to do. So we'll give it another shot here. Yeah, insufficient ADA. One percent. Yeah, so if you're gonna do this, make sure you have more than a couple bucks. Um, I assume with the fees, it's gonna take a little bit of time. But that is a first look. I'm really impressed. I'm very impressed with the UI. Um, this is definitely something I'm gonna use. We're definitely gonna go back to this wallet as well. Um, again, it was very simple to set up. So that's the app right there. So if you are a Android user, you could also give it another shot as well. So yeah, we're just gonna have to do some more videos in the future. So that is the first look. That is how to set up the Vesper wallet. I'm impressed so far. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have to give it another go. So with that being said, the moose is loose. If you guys wanna protect your cryptos and NFTs, pick up a hardware wallet, please. Um, that's gonna be vital, very important for you all. Um, and we also have a free Cardano mini course. It will get you up to speed. You'll learn how to set up wallets and do other things of that nature. And we also have a free, um, sorry, we also have a paid course. So now we have, what, 81 students. We're going to do a refresh. 83 students. So people are diving into this. Um, we have over half a million students on Udemy. Um, I partnered with Phil. He's got 2.8 million students. So this course is about to boom. So that being said, the moose is loose. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Comment down below. Have you used the Vesper wallet? Cheers.